being free, it's amazing. It's a very loving space, and I enjoy going, and it makes me happy, and it gives me something to look forward for. It helps you get up in the morning and sleep at night. It's genuinely helpful. It's one of the greatest feelings in the world. Uh, it means so much to be able to spend time with friends and new people and teach as well as learn a little bit from other people's experiences. It is a safe and loving community where I have a lot of friends and a lot of support. It means we are liberated in a sense. Being a part of free means being a part of a family, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, it's being part of a group of people who all know what you're going through and are all there to support you. Good morning, BR. I'm Sean. I'm Diego. And these are your WRBR News. All right, I'll get us started. Any students with iPads from assistive technology at the school board, please make sure that you have your iPad at school during this week. There is a problem with them and they must be checked. Thank you. Congratulations to all the grade 12s who have paid their graduation fees. Great organizational <laughs> skills. Please pay online to Ms. Mazza or in, who's in guidance. Hey BR players, great meeting last Friday with the Drama Council. Members, please attend to business so you are ready for our next meeting this Friday. With love, Ms. Demzar. A reminder that the Christmas Assembly art auditions are today after school. And that's all we have for you right now, BR. So stay tuned for more WRBR news. Good morning and happy Monday, Celtics. I'm going to keep reiterating what's already been said because I know that's not annoying at all. Um, we are going to, first of all, be canceling Fusion. And I'm sorry to all of my Fusion heads that I said, no, next Monday we're going to have a rehearsal. But we do have to have those Christmas assembly auditions in the music room today after school. So no Fusion today uh, after school. But we are going to see anyone interested in performing for the Christmas uh, assembly in the music room. There is a sign up outside of the music room right now that Mr. Tabone has put there. Uh, you need to sign up with your name. And also, please put your song choice on uh, on the uh, audition sheet so that we don't have 50 bajillion mistletoes by Justin Bieber. That would be fantastic, okay, if we could do that. Um, also, tomorrow is a Tuesday Celtic Groove rehearsal with Mr. Tabone in the music room, and Wednesday a full expression practice back on the stage as we uh, unleash the new theme and really start buckling down and getting ready for gala performances. And last but not least, we are less than two weeks away from the deadline for Nashville deposits. So get in the music room, get those raffle tickets from myself, Mr. Pickley or Mr. Tabone, and continue selling because deadline for deposits is Friday, December the 22nd. Thanks so much, BR, and have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Linda, and I'm here with Thomas, and we're here with your sports announcement. Last Friday, your junior girls volleyball team participated in the SJV in Invitational Tournament. Your Lady Celtics played some of their best volleyball of the year and were able to finish first in their pool and advance to the finals. Unfortunately, they fell short of the championship, losing to STM in two really close games. The team looks to build on their strong play as they take on BT and St. Mary this week in league play. Congratulations goes to Elise Danes and Evan Scott from the wrestling team for being named Pita Pit Athletes of the Week. Fresh thinking, healthy eating, Pita Pit. And that's all we have for you today, VR. Stay tuned for more WRVR news. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. Uh, I'm just here to uh, talk about uh, Friday's uh, annual Bishop Ryan Open that happened in our gymnasium. We had well over 300 athletes from across Canada in this most competitive high school tournament of the year. I first want to thank sincerely the grade nine girls and the grade 11 girls that pretty much ran that tournament on all five of those mats. You guys ran it so smoothly, so proud of you. Thank you so much. And to the phys ed department who helped me out that whole day to run. It's, a, it's a pretty much a, a big ordeal to run a, a tournament of that size and of that caliber. It was a high caliber tournament. We had a lot of national uh, level wrestlers there and provincial offset uh, medalists that were competing. We had some exciting final matches. 
Needless to say, most of our rookies didn't compete in this tournament. It wasn't their level of competition. And the medals were pretty thinly spread out amongst all the teams that were there that uh, day. But I do want to congratulate both our boys and our girls team for coming out overall on top as the top teams in both divisions. On the boys' side, uh, we had uh, Martin Grove Collegiate from Toronto who placed third with 21 points. And we had Vanier Wrestling Club from Montreal who came second in 37. And our BR Boys team, they took the first place team title with 56 points. Individually, we had uh, Joseph D'Alessandro, Momin Siddick, Martin Wallet, Chris Masudo, and Riley Sanderson who took fourth place, just barely losing their bronze medal matches. We had silver medal performances from Francesco Fortino, Adriano Di Benedetto, and Elijah Padmore. And winning the competition on the boys' side, we had Raheem Reda and Evan Scott taking gold medals. On the girls' side, um, team standings, we had the Vanier Wrestling Club from Montreal. They took third with 20 points. We had Lusur Wrestling Club from Windsor. They came second at 32. And first was our girls' team, uh, placed first with the exact same amount of points as the boys, 56 points. Congratulations to them. Individually, we had a bronze medal coming from Selena Shimon. We had three silver medal performances by Serena Di Benedetto, Lagaya Stanellis, and Eleanor Brown. And winning the competition on the girls' side was Jacina Reda, Elise Danes, and Madison Caruso. So congratulations to our entire boys and girls team. It was a great uh, showing on that our, our annual tournament. And... Uh, it was, uh, again, th thank you to all the support of the staff and the students that came out to cheer us on on the mats. You made a lot of difference in a lot of those matches. So, again, congratulations. Thanks a lot, BR, for your support. Back to WR, BR. And we're back on the desk, and we have a special guest with us today. Uh, hi, guys. It's Natalia Kubelik from uh, your BRSC. Uh, I'd just like to come on to say thank you to those who attended our Tales of Oldest Time prom last Thursday. Because of you, it was a huge success. Also, a big thank you to the teachers who helped make this event possible. Ms. Gallus, Ms. Garpetta, Ms. Bogovic, Mr. Cannon, Mr. Hall for taking pictures, Mr. Grohalis, Mr. Tabone and his band for the amazing music, Ms. Holodic, uh, Ms. Popovic, Ms. Morazzo, Ms. Centrino, and the administration, Mr. Piccioni, Mr. Chalala, Mr. Esposo, and Ms. Scalici Marini. Special congratulations to our prom king and queen, MJ Delizio and Deja Davis, also to our prom prince and princess, Nathaniel Korbavik and Tess McClure. Lastly, I'd like to thank Mr. McKenzie and Ms. Tristani, the rest of student council, as well as those who are part of prom committee. You all played a big role in making this event as amazing as it was, so thank you all very much. Just a reminder that today after school, we will be having our additions for our annual Christmas assembly in the music room. So might as well reiterate, reiterate it three times. Uh, so make sure if you are interested in participating to attend the auditions. As well, stay tuned uh, to the announcements for the next coming weeks for more Christmas events hosted by your student council. And that's all I have. So stay tuned for more WRBI News. Okay, BR, it's me again, and I just want to offer you some Christmas announcements here. Uh, first of all, for Celtic Justice League members, uh, please take a look at the sign-up sheet outside of my office. The t-shirt money is due uh, this week on Wednesday. We will be shopping also on Wednesday after school for our Christmas family, so please make sure you sign up for that if you want to be a shopper. All hands on deck for Celtic Justice League members Friday morning, period one. That's when all the gifts will be coming down from the homeroom classes and we need to be the ones receiving them and organizing and then also helping to pack them into people's cars. Uh, also, if you can be around on Thursday after school, that's great. Then we can put all the names, the code names, onto the cafeteria tables. Uh, for those who um, are interested, uh, there are two volunteer kind of things that uh, the community would like us to participate in. So if you are a member of St. Luke's Parish and you sing, or you would like to sing uh, with the St. Luke's uh, newly formed and maybe only for Christmas choir, they are looking for some young voices. They have a choir director, but they do want some young people out there during the Christmas season to sing. So if you're interested in that, please come and see me and I can make sure that you uh, get uh, down to St. Luke's for that event. Also, Our Lady of the Assumption Parish is having a dance for their youth. Uh, that's going to be on the evening of the 15th. It's only a few hours, but it'll also be Christian service hours that will be given for that. So if that's something that uh, is interesting for, to you, please come and see me. And also, just for everyone that is involved in the Christmas Miracle Program, it ends this Friday. So all gifts need to come down to the cafeteria during period one. It's up to you whether you want to wrap the presents or not, but we do ask 
ask you to bring your gingerbread person down and attach it to the gifts. Say, for example, if you put all your gifts in boxes and there's three of them. So, and if your code name is Family Snowman, it's Snowman Box 1 of 3, Snowman Box 2 of 3, Snowman Box 3 of 3. So, uh, if you're wanting any last minute hints, again, these are food items that really the family might enjoy during the Christmas holidays. So, think of what you might like. A gift certificate to a food uh, place or a Walmart might be really nice because people can make their own selection. But things like cookies or candies would be nice as well as trimmings for a Christmas dinner. And uh, again, uh, I thank you so much in advance for all that you're doing for these families. And uh, we'll see you Friday morning with all of your gifts and presents. And now for some more WRBR news. And, and we're, we're back. back. We're back yeah, on the desk. Awesome. Diego, you want to pick it up? All right. Listen up, all you Celtic diversity members. Today, on Decem today, December 11th, will be our final meeting for the year. We need all of you members to come out for Fun Day Monday. Today, after school, we will have our annual Christmas party. Snacks and movies and merry mingling. Hope to see you all there. Awesome. Hey, BR. Celtic Circle would like to thank you so much for supporting their bake sale last Friday. It was a huge success. Thank you to all of the students and staff. Your support means the world. Keep being awesome. To the Celtic Circle members, we will be meeting this Tuesday and Wednesday in room 229 West to continue our Christmas activity. Remember to bring in your Christmas tags, even if they're not finished. Thanks. Congratulations to Anita Lesik, Jesse Novak, Anastasia San, and Emily Santos for winning second prize in the Hamilton Spectators Design Address Contest. Ms. Zinter Ms. Tintiri's grade 11 fashion class accepted the challenge of using the elements and principles of, de of design to create dresses entirely out of Hamilton Spectator newspapers. And while all the dresses were amazing, this team's dress was chosen by the judges as the second place winner. The dress will be featured in the Hamilton Spectator sometime this week. Yeah, congratulations to them. That's awesome. Hello, BR. The Bishop Ryan Writers Club is proud to announce the rebirth of the Celtic Circuit. Aren't sure what the Celtic Circuit was? For many years, it was the school newspaper, only this time, we are bringing it back as a magazine. Are you interested in creative writing? We need your creativity. Are you interested in art and design? We need your vision. Are you interested in sports, music, politics, and any other newsworthy item? We need your passion. Come out and join us this Thursday, December 14th, after school in room 228. Thank you. And we'd like to give one final thank you to all of the guests that appear on the show today. And mm -hmm. that is all we have for you today, BR. Awesome. Have a wonderful day, keep being awesome, and we'll see you later. Merry Christmas. <laughs> they never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas.